Hi everybody, my name is Samer Audi and this is video number three in the Kali Linux Security Tools series. I will be covering live host identification tools under the information gathering category and the minimum prerequisite knowledge is basic network understanding. However, it is best if you have some network scanning knowledge to really understand these tools. Because all these tools in essence do the same thing, which is to identify live hosts on a network by sending packets, I thought I'd better come up with a demo plan rather than just repeating the same thing in different tools. So this is what I came up with. Number one, I'm gonna introduce a tool that is not in that default group, which is NPing. And I'm gonna use NPing to scan the entire network in an attempt to find active hosts on it. In step two, I'm gonna use mass scan to also scan the network, but now for running services. So I'm gonna be looking for known ports like 21, FTP, 80, HTTP, 23, Telnet, and so on. In step three, I'm gonna use rping to get the MAC address of one of the targets that I identified in the previous two steps. And next, I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna take the MAC address, I'm gonna use the attack six toolkit, specifically a tool called address six in this toolkit. And from the MAC address, I'm gonna get the IP version six address and then using the same toolkit but a different tool called THC ping 6 I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna send some ICMP6 packet to my target. In step number five, I'm gonna use a very simple tool called FPing. I'm simply gonna scan the two targets to confirm that they are live. And finally, I'm gonna use HPing 3 to do something a little bit more interesting, which is to perform a denial of service attack on one of the services running on one of the targets. Some of my students told me they watch these videos on mobile and the commands are not very visible. So I thought, okay, I can add the commands in the slides. Assuming I ran IPA and I got this network address and ping without any options will do the job. Using mass scan, I would add the P option and I would add the ports that I'm interested in separated by a comma. Using the R option in R ping and one of the host IP addresses, I can get the MAC address. Next, I would use the MAC address that I retrieved in the address 6 tool and that would get me the IP version 6 address. THC ping 6, which sends ICMP version 6 packets, requires the interface name, F0, the source IP version 6 address, meaning our Kali, and the target IP version 6 address. Without any options, I'm gonna use the IP addresses of my known targets just to confirm that they are live. And finally, this is the denial of service attack. You can see here, there are a lot of options. The C is for count. And here you can see 10,000. It's not really required because I'm using the flood option. It would be required if you're using the faster option, for instance. And in that case, 10,000 wouldn't be enough. You would put 100,000 or more. D is for the data size, this is 120 bytes. S is for SYN or synchronize, this is a TCP flag. W is the TCP header window, 64 bytes. And this is the target uh, port, which is port 21. So I'm targeting the FTP service. And of course, flood here would mean that it would flood that a target with this request without waiting for a reply. And I would really recommend if you're gonna attempt all these commands to use Wireshark and see how the packets look like. 
Finally, using RAND source would make the packets appear as if they're coming from different IP addresses, not yours. Okay, so on with the demo. I open my Kali terminal as root to avoid typing sudo. And I have two target machines for the demonstration. 